People are like flowers. We grow, bloom, thrive, and eventually fade. However, what is important is celebrating life in all its stages. These paintings endeavor to capture hopefulness, joy, and delight through the manipulation of color and creation of movement. And this was really sparked by events in my life this past semester. I lost a close loved one, but we also had three births in my family. Um, so it's been a real time of just like the, the cyclical nature of life. So that's kind of what I've been exploring through my paintings. Um, my process is that I work a lot from direct observation, well, exclusively from direct observation. Um, and I worked from real and artificial flowers. So I became good friends with the uh, flower boutique in town. So that was a lot of fun. They have a little cat there, so the cat and I are buddies. Um, and uh, I started the semester working on canvas. So you can see I have a lot of canvases represented. But later in the semester, I was having a critique with uh, Amir Kobolishki, and he's a new painting professor here on campus. And he and I were talking about painting on different surfaces. He does a lot of work on wooden surfaces. And I was like, what about mirrors? And we both had this kind of like, aha moment. We are like, that could be pretty cool. So that's why the mirrors are represented here. Um, I think they're some of my most successful work because it not only came later in the semester where I had more time to work with them, um, but I just found them really interesting to work on. It's great because everybody comes in and they're like, how is my hair? You know? <laughs> I mean, I do it too. So, um, And then the ones over here are lying down, so they are more like a, a water surface. So that was something I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, and everything that's framed, minus these two, uh, two mirrored frames, I created myself. Um, which was a labor of love. I couldn't feel my right arm for like a week. But uh, I chose the terracotta color, so because flowers a lot of times are potted um, in terracotta colored pots, so I thought that was kind of appropriate. Um, as far as my influences are concerned, I studied abroad in the fall of 2009 in Aix-en-Provence, France at the Marchute School of Art and had the most terrific time. It just really uh, revolutionized my art. I spent a week painting watercolors in Giverny. I spent a week in Paris visiting all the museums. I painted Mount saint Victoire, which is where Cezanne painted. So I really have this large influence um, from the Impressionist painters. Um, so that just like reinforced my love of art. And I came back and I was like so excited about my major. Um, as far as specific artists go, um, Claude Monet, I really love for his use of color. Vincent Van Gogh for, I learned about La Touche when I was abroad, and it's basically um, how you leave your mark on the painting. Um, of course, Camille Pizarro, I, he's my favorite. He has this great sense of rhythm um, and movement, which is something I really strive to achieve in my pieces. Um, and finally, you can't talk about flowers without talking about George O'Keeffe. Um, what she really taught me was that flowers aren't just something beautiful to look at, you know, they can represent a whole slew of other things. So if you ever visited my studio this semester, you would see that I had them all up on my wall. I don't, it was like my home away from home this semester. Uh, I think I spent more time there than sleeping, but uh, all, all of my uh, artists were there. I also have a lot of musical influences. If anyone ever saw me painting, I dance while I paint, um, but I also get it all over my face. So uh, I actually met one of uh, a painting professor with like green on my face and blue, and it was, like, it was so embarrassing. Mark didn't tell me it was there. Um, as far as future projects are concerned, I definitely want to continue my work on mirrors, because I think it's just an interesting surface, and I think I think it's interesting that people are drawn to mirrors um, for a number of reasons, so I would like to continue doing that. Um, as well as watercolors that I've executed in the past, I really enjoy those, and you can really play with color.